American GIs are a familiar sight in West Berlin. Their shops, restaurants, and nightclubs bring a taste of the U.S. to their new home. Katja Bahadori, a 19-year-old Berliner, has an American boyfriend. They often visit the La Belle nightclub together. We danced all night. It was a great atmosphere. The music was amazing. Some of it you couldn't even get here. It was fresh from New York. Katja is at the La Belle on the night of the 5th of April. Just after 2.30 a.m., a bomb explodes in the center of the club. Everything went black. You couldn't see anything. My eardrums must have burst immediately because I felt like I was underwater. Things happened quickly, but also in really slow motion and surreal, like a dream. I was very calm. I just thought, okay, this is where you die. The club is reduced to rubble. The brutal attack leaves three dead and 250 injured. Katja is taken to hospital with serious injuries. Investigators believe the bombers came in through East Berlin. America suspects Libyan leader Colonel Gaddafi of orchestrating the attack. Katja and the other victims are being treated in hospitals all over West Berlin. I tried to stand up, but my leg was broken, so I just lay on the ground. On the 14th of April, Katya's boyfriend, who is being treated in a military hospital, tells her the US is planning to attack Libya. I asked him why they wanted to retaliate when they knew exactly how devastating it would be. He didn't agree with me at all. I thought it was just talk. But the next day, it was on the news and I was shocked. On the 15th of April, U.S. airstrikes on Libya's capital, Tripoli, leave numerous people injured. Security is increased in West Berlin as fears of more attacks rise. <laughs> 